fourth normal form has its soul in multi-value dependency but also we need to have some perspective about functional dependency as well let's clear our concept about multi-value and functional dependency from the student table we can see a student has a functional dependency on address because for one value of student attribute there exists only one value of address address is not multi-valued like phone number a student has two phone numbers and two hobbies but address is only one so for one value of a student there exists only one address this is called functional dependency one to one relation it's called let's label our table with a b c and d Functional dependency is sh showed with one arrow between two attributes. A is functionally dependent on B. A student is functionally dependent on address and a student has a one address. Now let's look at multi-value attribute. A student Sagir has multiple phone numbers, two in this case, and multiple hobbies. Again, two in this case, cricket and soccer. The spelling of soccer is wrong here in this table. Rohit also has two phone numbers and two hobbies it's called one to it's called one to two or one to many relations and multi-valued attributes is shown with two arrows between the attributes c is multi-value of a and d is multi-value of a it's shown in the example two arrows signify multi-value one arrow signifies the functional dependency between the two attributes the condition for fourth normal form is it must have at least three columns there will be no point if there are only two columns in the table the other condition for one value of a more than one value of b should exist and the table satisfies this because for one value of Sagir the student there exist multiple phone numbers two phone numbers and multiple hobbies similarly for Rohit there are multiple phone numbers and multiple hobbies so so this also satisfies the condition the third condition is other columns must be independent of each other a hobby and phone number must not have anything to do with each other a hobby cannot guess the phone number and phone number cannot guess the hobby in this case so they are independent of each other so this condition is also satisfied the other condition is that it should have bypassed all one first second third and bc and f normal form we recommend watching our detailed video on first, second and third normal forms. In that video, we have thoroughly explained each form of normalization with multiple examples to clarify the concepts. The video link is in the description. It also satisfies second normal form because there is no, there is no partial dependency. None of the multi-valued attributes is partially dependent on key. In fact, they cannot depend partially on key because for the partial dependency, there is a need of multiple keys but there is only one key in our table so there is no partial dependency it also satisfies third normal form which says there must not be any transitive dependency between tables there is transitive dependency means one non-key column can, can guess other non-key column so it also satisfies the condition it also satisfies bcnf condition as well so it satisfies the previous normalization conditions so b is a multi value of a c is a multi value of double arrows means they are multi values so what we can do is to decompose a b and c and the rule for decomposition is so the rule for decomposition is we will break the table into two and we will keep non multi valued attribute in the first column and the and the other column will be filled by the multi-valued attribute which are phone number and hobby so we have split the table into two and now we have achieved fourth normal form example number two if we have a course table database management system is taught by multiple teachers and both the teacher uses a different textbook for the course so teacher and book are multi-valued we will decompose the table for fourth normal form decompose it in the same way that we will non multi valued attribute and on the right hand side we will keep the multi valued attributes which are teacher and book so we we have achieved that fourth normal form thank you so much for watching please support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can make more videos like this and if you have any video ideas 
or want us to make a video on any educational topic please write it down in the comment box